In Unreal Engine 4.21, the sequencer system has had a few changes and upgrades, so we're going to cover a few of them now. One of the bigger changes is the event system for sequencers has changed pretty dramatically. Now we actually have basically kind of like the way blueprints work naturally built into the event track system. So here is a cube, and I have an event track on it, and here I have a sequence event. If I was to open the sequence event, it's actually going to open up, well, what you'd expect from Blueprints, a graph editor. It has an input from the sequence event because this is part of a cube and it has a transform and it has a few other items in it. It's automatically going to bring in as a target the stack mesh actor, which is the cube in this case. And then I can do whatever I'd like on it within reason. So in this case, I'm doing a destroy actor. And if we were to run this example, so I hit play, when it hits that sequence event, it calls the event track, the event track fires, and my actor gets destroyed, as we expected. There's a lot more to this. You can use blueprint interfaces. You can talk with the level itself or individualized actors itself with your own blueprint events. All that is covered in detail with examples in the documentation. Geometry cache tracks are now experimental. So in this case, I have a cloth here. I have an Alembic imported cloth. And I can actually take that cloth and put it into my sequence and play it back. So I'm going to go and do that. Add a track. Whoops. Let's try this again. Let's add the cloth to my scene. This is my cloth here. Let's go ahead and rotate it so that way it goes down when we play it back. So if we were to play this back like we'd expect to, we can see our alembic plane as you can see here. Now you can actually go ahead and go to your sequencer and we'll add that item to here as a track and as part of that item we have the ability to the geometry cache and this would let us actually play back and scrub through exactly how we expect it to work for the geometry cache for the alembic file let's go ahead and get rid of that since we don't need it anymore we have the ability to add markers now so if we were to look at this, and let's say I wanted to tag something specific. Let's say I wanted some things like a Q in right here. We can push the M key on our keyboard to set a marker. Or we can right click and we can add a mark or clear marks. Marks are useful because they don't do anything to the actual tracks. They're up for our use only. They're a visual marker. So I could add a marker, let's say here. Then I want a marker here. And let's top that. And I can use the Control, Shift, and period key to go forward one mark, control shift, comma key. So the two keys that are to the right of the M key on a normal keyboard or the slash key to the left of the shift. And we can go back and forth between different marks. So it's useful as a visual marker because that's what they are. One additional thing is sequencers can now experimentally export out audio. Previously, you could only export out the video sequence, but now we have an audio output. By default, no audio will be exported, but you can choose the master audio submix, experimental, to experimentally output the audio. Keep in mind, because it's using the new master audio system, you have to use the audio mixer flag on the command line, or you have to have the new audio mixer system enabled. When you do that, you'll get the option for the audio options, and you'll export it out. When you export out your renderer, you're going to go ahead and you'll get two files. You'll get your expected AVI file with your video, and then you'll get a separate WAV file, which is your audio track. Do note, in order for this to work, it's going to play back the actual sequence in real time. So if you can't support your output format in the proper real time, you may get skips and gaps. It'll render out the video, black the video, and then render out the audio as a separate section. And that's it. Those are some of the bigger changes to the sequencer system in Unreal Engine 4. Dot two one.